This critical incident video is being provided to you by Buell School and details a controversial police encounter that occurred in Newark, New Jersey, in June 2021. Warning. This video contains graphic and disturbing images along with foul language. Viewer discretion is advised. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It's been a full year since Justin Rodwell was arrested and jailed along with his three brothers after being accused of assaulting a Newark police officer. According to police, on June 1, 2021, at approximately 1.30 p.m., two Newark police officers were patrolling the area of Fabian Place and Cypress Street in Newark, New Jersey, in response to recent gun violence in that area. They approached a group of males on Cypress Street and attempted to stop one male who was suspected of gun possession. Two brothers of the suspect promptly came to the scene and physically interfered with the arrest. Police have claimed that the officers were attacked while trying to stop a man suspected of gun possession, but supporters and relatives of the brothers, who have rallied with overwhelming support, say that Jekyll Rodwell was set upon by the police without any type of reasonable suspicion of criminal activity. They maintain that he was racially profiled and the police assaulted him without provocation spawning a scuffle that arose from his brothers acting in self-defense. Take a look at the body cam video and we'll talk more about this case afterwards. I need to interrupt the video to point out something important. In an official police statement in regards to the incident, the president of the Newark Fraternal Order of Police said, The officers were set upon by a mob of people, then pummeled to the ground, kicked in the head and choked. The officers' body cams were forcibly removed from the officers and smashed on the ground. This mentality that people do not have to abide by the law, this complete lack of respect for law enforcement must end. Although that was a direct statement from the police detailing the events that just unfolded, Ross Baraka, the mayor of Newark at the time, issued a statement claiming that the events, as detailed by the president of the Newark Fraternal Order of Police, was not entirely true. Ross Baraka said, as we continue to build trust between police and community in the city of Newark, the false narrative of the incident Tuesday afternoon between our officers and three residents during an attempted gun arrest undermines those efforts, stoking fear in our officers that they are dealing with a hostile community, and sending an implicit message to the community that our police are fair game. First, let's separate fact from fiction. While it is true two men tried to interfere in the arrest, our officers were not pummeled to the ground and kicked in the head, as one source, who was never at the scene, relayed to the press. Equally, the headlines that said police were attacked by a mob were patently false and sensational. Second, while this incident is still under investigation by the Essex County Prosecutor's Office, body camera footage from the police struggling to handcuff the suspect while showing great restraint themselves was nowhere near the level of violence described in the press. In fact, none of the suspects were injured. Third, while a small group of people gathered, they in no way attacked the police. In truth, when I arrived at the scene, the uninvolved witnesses were helpful, respectful, and seemed to side with the police. Based on the mayor's statement, it seems as if the police flat out lied in their statements, grossly exaggerating the level of violence officers underwent while trying to arrest Rodwell. Although they made statements about a violent mob of people attacking the officers and officers being thrown to the ground and kicked in the head, 
none of that appears to happen in the body cam footage and the mayor confirms that these statements are false. Thanks for being patient while I explained all of that. I know you want to get back to the body camera footage, so let's do it. I'm going to skip some dead footage while the camera is on the ground and go to the moment before the camera is retrieved by an officer. I ain't running. I ain't running nowhere. Get cuffs on me. I ain't running nowhere. Look, the camera right there. I ain't running nowhere. Right. We got cameras on too. Fuck out of here. Right. Where you at? Mike, get the fuck out of here. Get you too. I'm good. I ain't running. I'm good. Record everything. Get me too, nigga. Get me too. Stop. I'm like that, nigga. Stop. Stop. Yo, back up. Why y'all What you want, nigga? Relax. relax. What's Stop. up, nigga? Relax. Stop. Relax. Stop. 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 Shit. They came over there wild. Uh, we, 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 we record everything. We record everything. We record everything. Yeah, got some Yeah. Now let's go. Let's I'll be go up in the front. Yeah. I'll be up from the front, not, not, not the back, the front. I got you. Let me up from the front, not the back. I don't do back. Let me pay my I don't do back. I don't do back. I don't do back. Sorry. I don't do back. I don't do back. The front. Too bad. The front. No, no, no. I'm not putting my arm back. You want to take me in the car? Bro, that's your arm. You want to take me in the car? Take me in the car. Take me in the car. I don't care. Take me in the car. You got something, he, you got something on him? No. Nah. All right. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, no. Just cuff him. Just be, be easy, brother. Be easy. Listen. Take me be in easy. The car. Be easy. You want to cuff me in the front? Listen to me. Listen to me, bro. I'm not going Listen to me. Back, uh, take, him to ground. take him to the ground. Take him to the ground. Then take him to the ground. Bullshit. He had a gun. Yeah. Okay. Give me your hands, brother. Give me your hands. Bro, just get your hands, bro. Just get behind your back. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. I don't come back. Put your hands behind your back. Listen, give me your hands. Last episode. Yo, yo, double cuff it. 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 Get the cuff it. Watch out. Let's go. Let's take him out. Come on, dude. Come on. Thank you. So we do. We's no talking it. Exactly. That's it. We's no talking. All that camera about everything. Come on, kid. Six four six. They took it from me. They did. They grabbed me by the neck and they took the gun. No one fucking came. No gun was recovered at the scene. And if you compound that fact along with the knowledge that the police were caught lying about several factors in this incident, the concept that these men were racially profiled seems, at the very least, more than possible. Newark, New Jersey also has a long history of police misconduct and the department has historically had a terrible relationship with the community, something that they've been working to repair in the last several years. Newark has had a checkered past littered with high crime rates and crooked police, which is an atomic mixture. 
In 2014 a U.S. Department of Justice investigation found widespread constitutional violations by Newark Police Department. The DOJ's report includes findings of unprecedented violations of the Fourth Amendment, including that up to 75% of stop and frisks in Newark are unconstitutional. They also found a pattern and practice of excessive use of force by police officers and an unusually high level of theft of property and money by Newark police officers. It takes a great team. And the Newark Police Department is the greatest damn team I've ever played on in anything I've ever done. Being that police encounters in Newark are so frequent, the corruption in the department is no secret to the people living in this community. It is very much an us versus them environment on both ends, as is true in many urban areas. As pointed out by the lawyer representing the Rodwell brothers, Cynthia Hardaway, the police officers, as it would be shown in the videotape that was released by the police, approached this young man, did not say anything we could hear, indicative of, this is the police, because they were all in regular civilian attire and unmarked vehicles. The brothers weren't doing anything indicative of criminal behavior and when the arrest of Jekyll ensued, it remains unclear in the video if arresting authorities gave an account of what they were doing when his brothers interceded. The incident happened in front of their family home, and when his brothers saw what was happening, they intervened to try to get the police off of their brother because they had no clue that he was being put under arrest or had done anything wrong. Although he wasn't inside his home when he was approached by the officers, he was on his property, which makes the encounter border on the verge of a violation of his Fourth Amendment right. This is a very important case when it comes to uh, the rights of citizens and their civil rights being violated and how it could lead into a situation where, as in the case of these brothers, uh, one is still locked up since June of 1st, 2021, having been detained by, by the court, and the other ones are facing charges. Uh, and the bottom line of all of this is that uh, on that particular day, we can, uh, you could, there's, there's body camera footage, and you can see no point at which these brothers did anything that would have warranted the aggression of the police officers as they approached them while they were simply standing outside of their family home. Although the brothers didn't do a single thing right from the moment they were stopped, I'd argue that the stop should have never happened in the first place. The Rodwell and Spivy brothers have been in pre-trial hearings for the past year. At the time of this recording, their last court date was Thursday, June 9, 2022. As I'm finishing this video, I almost don't want to mention it, but, I just found out that Rodwell has a conviction from 2015 for third-degree gun possession charges and drug affiliation charges. Although, in my mind, that doesn't make the fact that he was stopped any better. To put it in perspective, Rodwell was in possession of a firearm without a permit. New Jersey is one of 15 states in America that requires you to have a permit to carry a firearm. In the majority of the country, that wouldn't be a criminal offense. In New Jersey, it can be a lengthy prison sentence. To date, none of the pre-trial judges would grant his release even though his prior conviction was seven years ago. I hope you liked this video. I pulled an all-nighter to make it, it's almost 10 AM. I'm trying to enhance the quality of the content that I put out for you guys. Also, we just reached 100 subscribers last night, so thank you to everybody that is watching this. My favorite subscriber, Moritz Bruckner, said the growth of this channel has been bullish as fuck this week, in the comments, which is the coolest comment I've ever gotten. Thanks bro, I appreciate you watching. Also, big shout out to Blacklisted. You are a true boss my guy. Anyway, please like and subscribe this shit. I'm tired and I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching.